what if I say There is time for both of us So, returning all the way Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to a What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And I do have a special guest with me this week. So if you guys would like to stick around and see who's joining me and what my likes and not likes are, keep on watching. Okay, so my special guest this week is Finding My Tira. It is Patricia. I actually got to know her through the uh, MAB group, the middle-aged beauty group that I was with for a while. And I'm still with them in general, as in I'm in their group on Facebook. Now, Patricia, I love her accent. She is one of my southern beauties on here that I really enjoy watching. She has, and I know like a lot of people always say about, you know, my hair, and thank you so much to all those people that always compliment my hair. That, that's very appreciative, very much. But I'm telling you, Patricia has gorgeous hair. Long, like like a golden blonde or something color. And it's, she just really has gorgeous hair. And the other thing I would say is probably her eyes. I don't know. She just, she's a beautiful woman all around. Wonderful personality. She did lose a good bit of weight. She was, I think she's still, I think she is still on somewhat of a weight loss journey. She does do a video each week or something, either each week or each month that reference to weight loss and what her journey has been doing. And she's actually probably like a lot of us that get into the makeup and uh, skincare. She's in, into her skincare journey as well because that's something I've been working into somewhat. Put a link down below to our channel. Please go check her out. You will not be disappointed. She's a wonderful woman to watch and also a wonderful woman in general in a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and get started into my products. Let's do hair care first, which I showed these to you guys in a haul video, I believe. And it was the Garnier uh, Whole Blend Smoothing Shampoo, and I have the conditioner. It's in the coconut oil and cocoa, cocoa butter. Tames and controls frizzy hair. And these are really nice. These are a nice hair, uh, a hair shampoo and conditioner, but they're just, they're okay. I I'm not gonna say I don't like them, but I don't know if they'd be something I'd repurchase. I'm gonna share that with you guys, let you know what I'm thinking of those. The other product I had shared on here a couple times before, and I'm trying to go through uh, some of my products so I can add in too. And I really liked this. This is from the uh, Skelisi Skincare. It's a cleanser and exfoliator. And this and the moisturizer, I think those were the only two things that was sent to me. And it's been a while ago. And they both are really nice products. They really are. Uh, nice. The moisturizer has like an SPF in it and it's kind of a nice light moisturizer. This is a nice cleanser that has the minimum, minimal um, exfoliating beads and stuff in it. So it is a really nice, you can use it daily. So I really like this product. It might be a repurchase. I have thought about that. This I added into my skincare regimen because I said I'm on a skincare journey and this is the Zo Medical from Zen Abaji, and it is the Brightnex Skin Brightener Correcting Cream, and it is a 0.5% retinol. And this is the one I think I was sharing in my video when I was talking about skincare. It has that orange uh, coloring to it. I'll put a link down below to my skincare video. But the directions on here, it says you can apply one to two pumps evenly on your face, but start slowly and build using gradually. Now I know a lot of my friends on here, a lot of my beauty friends and stuff do the Retin-A, Retin and I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to plunge into that. I'm, I'm just not really sure. I know Retin-A retin I did a long time ago 
because uh, I did have a lot of acne problems. It was one of the items that my dermatologist had given me back then. They started realizing, you know, like, yeah, it does take away the um, layers of skin and renews the skin cells. And so a lot of women are using it into their anti-aging regimen, which, you know, a lot of them uh, have been really enjoying it. And I just, I'm, I'm not sure. And I know retinol is like, in there with it. It's not, I don't think, as potent as Retin-A. I, I think that's how I'm understanding it, but, but I'm really liking this, and I do think this is doing a little extra something to my skin, because I know I've had several people the last couple different times are like, what are you doing? You know, your skin's looking so glowing. I really truly believe it's my skincare regimen that I'm doing right now. And I have to give credit to a lot of the Zen Abaji products. The next item I got in my um, boxy charm, it's the Body Butter Glow for Cause. And I see the thing, the word here, it says wish on it, but that is actually the scent. Like when you go on their site, You'll see all different kinds and scents and different things that you can get. And I'm telling you what, this is a really nice, sophisticated scent I really like to wear. And it is a body butter, and I am going through it here and there, as you can see, which is a good thing. And I would actually purchase from them. I would like to see, I think they have like a body spray mist or something in the scent. And I believe, I'm not sure if they have, I think they do have stuff for the lips. I'm not sure. Definitely go check this company out. I do believe, because it says glow for a cause, I do believe so much money goes to a certain cause. I can't quite remember what it's for. It is for a certain cause. So much money goes towards it that uh, when you purchase. So not only are you purchasing something nice, but it also goes to something good too. So another product that I'm using is Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer. This is a really nice drugstore primer. I actually got it because I really like the uh, foundation that you can get, the Lasting Finish Foundation. I really like that one from Rimmel. It's in my top five favorite drugstore foundations. I did that a while back ago, my top five favorites. Maybe I'll put a link down below to that. Yeah, I really like this primer. It would be a, a repurchase at some point. I do have quite a few primers I need to get through. So whether I repurchase it now, probably not because I'm trying to get through so many of them. But this would be one that I would repurchase. It does have methicone on here somewhere when I was looking at the, at the ingredients, which that's, you know, the form base of silicone. But it doesn't have that silicone feel to it. So if you're somebody that doesn't like that real hard you know hard silicone feeling to your primers um this one will be one that you might want to go to then you know if you're on a budget too and and everything so the real one's really nice it's like a a moisturizer kind of a primer all right speaking of primers i'm really loving the l'oreal voluminous uh primer and i know some compare this actually to the lancome one that's pretty popular which Lancome and L'Oreal are kind of like all in one kind of a company anyway, so makes some sense. And so they brought the drugstore brand out. I really like this. I haven't used a uh, ma or mascara primer or anything like that for the lashes. I have been using it and it really does make a difference in the lashes when I'm putting on one of my mascaras. I do like this a lot, so it would definitely be a repurchase. Okay, the foundation, and I'm actually wearing today, and I've been giving it a try, is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. Mine's actually in 105 Classic Ivory. I have seen other people talk about it, and I never went for it, but when my Rite Aid was uh, closing down here, downtown, they were having like 50% off sale. And this foundation was like one of the foundations that I could actually grab and get because I did want to get some form of a foundation. I wanted it to be one that I never tried. And it's not a bad foundation. It covers pretty nicely. I would say medium to full kind of coverage. I think I would say it's semi-matte because it's not quite matte. And it definitely doesn't do no dewy or any of that kind of stuff. 
but it works okay for my skin. Okay, my concealer, again, trying to get go through a lot of my stuff because I did buy a new one uh, during the 50% off in my Rite Aid, and it's the Fit Me Concealer. So I'm starting to get there because you can see the little window area <laughs> kind of thing there. So I'm getting there slowly but surely. I, it has lasted me a good while. So highlighter, I've been using my Lorac Illuminating Highlighter. This one's in Moonlight. If you have not tried these highlighters, oh my goodness. Lorac's one of my favorite brands in the top five favorite brands. This one's in Moonlight. This is perfect for somebody with uh, fair to light skin tone. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. So there it is right there. I think this is really pretty. I love the gunmetal packaging that they have on these highlighters. So this is a really pretty, pretty one. And then I've been pulling out my Wet Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. This one is my original one. I, I did win one in a giveaway and it was the same one. This is the, the Dolce de Leche and they reformulated it or something like that. And the bronzer in the newer ones is different than the bronzer that was in the older ones. And I kind of liked the bronzer in the older ones better, the coloring. It kind of suits more good, you know, like a little more better for my skin tone. So, and then I do use the highlight a lot of times. Sometimes I use it on days where I don't want to add like the shimmer kind of highlight or I'll use it to set under my eyes and stuff. So I do really like this. It is one to definitely purchase. I would say it is comparable as some say, and I never tried it or had it. The Marc Jacobs, um, his split pan like this, my eyeshadow palette. And that's what I've been wearing and it's on my eyes. Actually today is the Kat Von D Interstellar eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if this is still, it was for a while there on Sephora. It was like you could get this with several other uh, several other items or something like that. It's a really pretty palette. I'm not even sure if my lighting will do much justice to it, but it's a really pretty palette. There's uh, some of the purple, some purples here on the end. There's a lot more like brown tones, taupe tones. Uh, the video that I did a collab with Cindy, a lot of people were saying about my eye look then, and it, I did have this on my eyelid. It was a silver, the silver shade that's right here. It is so pretty. It is so, so pretty. And that's kind of what I had on my eyes. As you can see, like her shadow, her shadows are exceptional. I just, I love her eyeshadows. I actually don't have the all famous shade and light. Can you believe that? I don't even have that. And I need to add that in my collection. So that is definitely something to think about, but I just been trying to pull out different things and pulling out products that I haven't used for a while or haven't gotten to use. And so that's my eye looks I've been using pretty much every day for the last week and a half now. And that's what I used again today. All right. And then on my lips today, which this I've been using several different lip products, but I thought I'd share this one here because this is what I have on my lips and I do like this color. It's actually Wet n Wild. I have like a love hate with the Wet n Wild lipsticks like this one here. This one's actually a 916D Raven Raisin and these are like the ones that are a little bit more go into a matte kind of a, a look. But the color is so pretty. It's like a deep, um, you know, purple tone of some sort. It's just these are. I'm not always a. I'm not always a fan or somebody into the matte lipsticks or anything. Uh, I'm trying to get used to them because they can look a little bit flattering at times, and it does look pretty good on my lips. And then lip liners. I usually don't go all out and spend a lot of money on lip liners. So some of the lip liners I usually get are from like the Rimmel and this one's actually from Milani. Maybelline has some out and I do have one Maybelline eye light or lip liner and I'm really liking it. So I think I probably might get a couple more shades because they're really nice lip liners. This one is the color statement lip liner. 
True Instant Color. And this is in the All Natural. And this one I use a good bit, a lot of times, to line my lips. Uh, you know, do like a natural lip color. All right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget to go and check out Patricia, uh, Finding My Tear, Patricia's video. I will have the link down below to that, so please go and check her out. If you did come from Patricia's channel, thank you so much and welcome. I hope you guys stick around and join me each week. I do put the videos up every week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you are not with me. Make sure you click the bell button and then that way you'll be notified of when my new videos are up and you can come and join me. And then also, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I would very much appreciate it and as I always say put a smile on my face and as always be please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real be shine through so until the next time you take care I will see you then love you guys bye Our waiting gold, and we will never